Hello, good morning. This is Techobia. This video is a complete video about the Binaturn T920, which you need to know. We are top on the YouTube for the Airtel VDSL videos, so make sure that you can subscribe to get notified for the latest updates. How to configure it for the regular IP and the static IP? First, you need to open the URL in your browser 192.168.1.1. Then you can use the username and the password as admin admin. There, you can reach this screen. There, if we have to set it for the regular IP, first I'm going to show you that how you can set it for the regular IP or the normal IP which is assigned to you if you are not paying especially for the static IP. Then when you click on the WAN, you click on the PPOE2, you need to enter your username here, password here and make sure the channel is PPOE selected. Then you are done. If you want to select it for the static, then you need to check IPOE then you need to enter your IP which is assigned to you in the local IP address like 122.96.142.120 and in the remote IP address the entire IP will remain same where the last digit you have to replace it with the one and then you have to enter the net mask which is common like 255.255.255.0 then you need to click on the modify once you click that, you are done and your static IP will be configured in this way. And make sure once you are configuring it for the static IP, there are two things which are mandatory. Like this, here you have to change the WAN settings and make it enable and set the value to the 100. And then in the DNS, you need to change the DNS because sometimes it is not working with the attained DNS automatically. So set it manually like I set it right now for the Google DNS. Now, next thing is how to change the Wi-Fi name and fix frequent disconnectivity issue. A lot of the people are facing the disconnectivity issues these days. So first, let me show you that from where you can change the name of your Wi-Fi. In the setup, WLAN, go to the basic. There you need to change the SSID. And here there is a major thing. In the channel number, it is set to the auto. You need to select the highest available value if you are facing the frequent disconnection to your Wi-Fi using your modem it will resolve your this issue and make sure don't restart your modem until it will get restarted automatically and when you click on the security here you will have the option to change your password from here you can change your wi-fi password for your modem and once you are done you need to click on the apply changes I can show you like if you want to upgrade your firmware for the latest firmware I already provided the link in the description from there you can download the file once you can select that particular file click on the upload then you have to wait for a few minutes as it is going to take some time and make sure again whatever the time it need you have to give it to it else if you restart your modem or reboot your modem in the meanwhile your modem will be non-usable because in most of the cases the same thing happened there person who were in the warranty company issued them new modems but this is not the case applicable everywhere so once you are done you need to log in again as username and password default is admin admin as as you can see i, uh, I updated the firmware version to the 019 test version for DT920W. So here, if any one of you are using the IP phones and these are not working for you, here is a solution to that. You need to go to the NAT in advance and then click on the ALG. Make sure that here everything is checked on because for the IP phones, SIP, IPsec, most of that depend on your IP phone, whatever the IP phone you are using these type of the protocols are required so make sure that every checkbox is tick so to make sure that your SIP phones will work perfectly and once you are done you need to click on the apply changes and then hope you will find your SIP phone working Here is a solution where you want to connect your Wi-Fi printers using the WPS. 
In most of the cases, when you glue to the setup and click on the Wi-Fi, there you found that disabled WPS is ticked. So make sure that it is unchecked. So make sure to uncheck this disabled WPS and click on the apply changes. And once you are done, modem reboot is required to make it working. And right now I'm going to show you the complete options walkthrough so that in case if you are using some different firmware or the same model and you want to see like some options are not visible to you and to want to make sure that everything is like common at both of our ends. So here is a complete walkthrough of almost every option which is available in this modem. So you can go through and see it yourself. And if you have any queries, you can ask me in the comments. And as I already told you that my videos are on the top for the Airtel VDSL as I covered up almost every modem provided by them. So you can ask me any question. I am the only person right now who is providing the latest firmware updates for almost every modem. So don't forget to subscribe as to get the latest notifications so that whenever I will upload any latest firmware updates, I normally update the message on the Twitter. So make sure to follow me over there because right now I don't have the community tab available with me. And thank you for your subscriptions to show your love as right now I am near just only three subscribers away from the 500. Thank you for your love. Make sure to like, share with your friends like if this video is helpful to them. See you soon in the upcoming video. Bye bye. Enjoy the music. See you soon.